Hello, welcome to another episode of the Do-It-Yourself Clinic. My name is Gary Davis and today we are going to talk about turning your cell phone into a remote control for your TiVo. Now this is using a Windows Phone 7 device and on this uh, episode I will show you how to set up the uh, TiVo and uh, there are a couple settings you have to, uh, to set or know about and also uh, how to set up and use the TiVo Net Remote Windows Phone 7 app. Uh, this is an app I wrote last month and it is now available on the marketplace and uh, it requires uh, you have Mango on your Windows Phone 7 the Mango release also known as Windows Phone 7.5 uh, uses a new technology for communicating over your home network between the phone and the TiVo using something called sockets. Sockets uh, lets the phone talk to the TiVo sending it commands and the TiVo can respond for example uh, doing a pause or play or changing channels. Uh, it cannot affect the volume uh, because it's really the volume is not a function of the TiVo it's more of your television or your AV receiver. Uh, the same uh, with a mute and uh, turning the TV on and off. Those functions are not part of the app because it's just not possible. Uh, the TiVos that are supported are the TiVo Premier, uh, TiVo HD and the TiVo Series 3 or S3. Uh, as you watch uh, the, the demo part of uh, this video, uh, we'll go through the setup, uh, their settings, uh, where you enter the IP address of your TiVo. The IP is uh, basically the, the address for talking, uh, for communicating between the phone and uh, the TiVo. And each TiVo in your house will have a different IP, and you can get that IP by going into your TiVo in the settings, and i show you how to do that too. So let's uh, start up the app, uh, start up the television and, and the TiVo. Uh, I have the app, uh, in this case, it's pinned to my home screen. And I can start it uh, this way. And uh, let's move on. The first thing to do in getting the TiVo Net Remote set up is to enable network remote control on your TiVo and also find the IP address of your TiVo on your home network. So let's go into the TiVo settings and first let's find the um, IP address. Go into settings, network and phone And the IP address is shown on the top right, 192.168.0.11. That's on my home network. Yours might be similar. Uh, most likely a 192.168, followed by 0 or 1, usually, followed by the uh, final uh, digits. Write that down. Next, we go into Remote, Cable Card, and Devices, and the Network Remote Control, and make sure the checkbox is on that says Allow Network-Based Remote Controls. Now, this is in the TiVo Premier. Uh, it's also a setting you'll find in the TiVo HD and S3. So we're OK. At this point, back out of that to your TV. And let's start up the TiVo Net Remote app. First, we'll start with clicking the settings button. The first field is the name of your TiVo. You can have multiple TiVos, 
so you can identify them by name. The next field is the type of TiVo model you have, in this case Premier. And the third field is the IP address that you saved from before. Click Save and it will test the connection and verify that it can get to that IP and talk to a TiVo. Next we go into the remote control screen and we can try, in this case I hit the pause button and you can see the TV image paused. And try out some assorted buttons. Fast forward, skip, play, and list the guide. You have full control of the up and down cursor, left, right, select. Scroll over to the numbers, and on this screen you can enter digits, in this case channel number 399. This button lists your shows that you've recorded, so you can select to play. So live TV, and click the TiVo button. The shortcut is TiVo followed by the digit 2 or 4 and that brings up the search box. And from the search box we have a keyboard panel where we can enter in some characters. Instead of cursoring around to select the characters we can just select them directly here. Use this for your wish lists too and some other uh, functions. Cursor over to the selected search hits to select a channel to play or change to. Now we're back to the settings, and you can add another TiVo this way. So let's say I have a TiVo in my master bedroom. This function is in the full version, not in the trial, being able to add a second or or more additional TiVos. This TiVo is a TiVo HD and a different IP address. I save it. I also changed the background. I removed the background color with that checkbox. The console lets you see the commands that are sent to the TiVo and the responses that come back from the TiVo. You can use this if you have issues with connectivity, see what's going on and uh, even lets you manually send commands if you know about the different commands that the TiVo supports. On the top you can see that it's showing the selected TiVo, MBR, Master Bedroom. And I can switch to the den. 
and now it'll be controlling the done TiVo. This is the help screen. <clears throat> this is information on connectivity issues and other assorted help information. Uh, news. The buttons for uh, contacting us, uh, sharing this app with others or on, your, on Twitter or Facebook, and reviewing the app. And I encourage you to review the app. And this screen, the info screen, shows resources. These are links to websites of interest. m.tivo.com, for example, will let you uh, do many things uh, like recording shows or updating your uh, season passes. Uh, the help information could change on occasion, so check back uh, on these pages. Control the uh, master bedroom TiVo and then switch to the den. Pause, play. I can add a third TiVo. You can add as many TiVos as you have in your house. Since this is controlling your TiVo through the uh, uh, network and not infrared, you can actually control your TiVo from other rooms in the house or even uh, from uh, the internet if you're at work and you want to control your TiVo at home. If you have your router set up to forward the port and the IP address to the correct TiVo, that will work. In this case, I added uh, a TiVo with an invalid IP address. <clears throat> so it's not going to be able to find any device at that IP. And in this case, it times out and shows the error message. <coughs> Here's the delete. Deleting a TiVo just disappears. <clears throat> well, that was the TiVo Net Remote app. I hope you install it, enjoy it, and have fun.